Let's go over the campaign builder within the attentive platform. So first you're gonna to navigate to under messaging, you'll see campaigns here. You can view based on a calendar or you can view based off of a list. In that list, you can see scheduled, delivered or drafts. And then you can also choose whether you want to see percentages or numbers or performance at a glance. Now, let's go ahead and actually create a campaign. You can choose whether it's just a one-time message with no tests, an A-B test, or you can select a message template, which if you pull that up, you'll see that Attentive has built out message templates for everything from a site-wide sale to product launch, back in stock, VIP, win back, some brand affinity, holiday, and concierge as well. Let's go ahead and set up an A-B test. And the reason why we won't set up a one-time message is because it's the exact same process. A-B testing just adds additional steps to it. Let's go ahead and click continue. We're gonna call it Rev. Let's say we wanna do a 4th of July flash sale. Then we're gonna select who we wanna send this to. So let's say we wanna send it to all of our active subscription customers and people who fall into this category and this one. And then we're gonna exclude anyone who hasn't engaged in the past 180 days. So this is where you select the segments you wanna to send to, and this is where you select the segments you want to exclude. Typically what I like to do is only send to one segment. So to limit and understand like performance on a per segment basis, as opposed to bucketing them, bucketing them all together. So typically I'm only using one segment here. Then you select what you'd like to test. So do you wanna test the content or do you wanna test the send time? We'll go through a content test first. And then you can add a tag as well if you want to be able to tag your campaigns. And so a use case for this would be like tagging it as promo. So then you have a database of all your promo campaigns versus you could have a tag like blog. So you can send blog campaigns. And then that way, when you're running reporting or looking at your campaign performance, you can split it out based off of what the campaign type is. And then you can choose whether or not you want to use smart sending or not. We won't use smart sending here because it's a 4th of July flash sale and we wanna make sure that everybody receives it. Now we'll go into the test details. So we'll only do two variations here, but you could do up to 30 if you really wanted to. Then you can choose your optimization settings. So this will decide how many recipients are actually going to receive the test and then the winning campaign will go out to everybody. So. First of all, 16 recipients is not enough for an A-B test. So you wanna pick a segment that is at least, I would say at least 100 people at a minimum. Typically we wanna go for at least 500 or 1,000, but you'll see if you send to too few that you could end up selecting a variation as the winner and sending that to the rest of the group that turns out to not be the winner after all, because you just have too small of a sample size there. So typically what we like to do is that 20% and you can select what the winning criteria is. So is it click through rate, unsubscribe rate, conversion rate, or total revenue? For me, if you are testing the actual content itself, click through rate and unsubscribe rate are the most reliable because if you're just testing the content, how are you supposed to like control that more people ended up purchasing on the website because there's different variables that come into play there when it comes to website experience. So if you're testing content, I like to do click through rate or unsubscribe rate. If you're testing the offer itself though, like percentage off versus dollar off and keeping the content the same, then that's where I would use winning criteria of conversion rate or total revenue. Then you can choose how long the test should run for before sending the winning variation. Typically we either do an hour or two hours, but you have the potential risk that some of these test recipients don't actually see the message before the test ends. Then you click save and continue. We'll name this one variation A, message one. And you'll set up your message just like you would 
any other. You can add in an image, you can add in audio or video, you can add a video preview link, and you can even add your virtual contact card. Emojis, your links, your personalization, first, last, and full name, and then any offers that you want to use. We'll just go ahead and add a test there. And then variation B, which would be variation B. Test, test. Now, you want to make sure for your, for your messaging naming that you're consistent. So maybe variation B is no GIF, and variation A is GIF. So that way, you know which one's which. And it'll pass through in your UTM tracking, but you'll also be able to pull that in the reporting as well. Then you'll save and continue, and you'll choose your send time. Now, you can schedule it out to go in advance, or you can send immediately. So let's just go back here and set up a link. Choose send time. You can schedule it, or you can send now. And obviously, not going to send it. But that is the campaign builder in a nutshell within Attentive. If you're doing a one-time message, you wouldn't see the variations here. You would just see one uh, message, and that's it. And that would be sent out. 